the biggest cheap versus steep difference I think we've probably ever had. 16 and a half times more. It's all gonna be about the taste. Ooh. Hello everybody. Hello. Hey Mrs. B. Hi. High five. She my wife. Uh, welcome to another Cheap versus Steep video. The playlist in which Mrs. B and I we make the same recipe and do it <laughs> one with cheap ingredients and one with expensive ingredients and then we compare. Yes, uh, we basically go to a budget supermarket, get the cheapest ingredients we can find and uh, the alternative at a more luxury supermarket. The actual aim of this is to see, particularly today, if it is worth it. Sometimes it's purely about the cost, but today we are doing... Scones. Scones. English mm. style scones. I think sometimes called biscuits in America. Okay. But it's British summertime. There's nothing better than scones. Sometimes known as scones. But I was always told it's not scone till it's gone. So it's scones. <laughs> what does that mean though? It doesn't make sense, does it? When what does that, that actually mean? So maybe it is scones. I don't, I, I don't care. I don't care. So we went to Raldi and Batros, uh, two very different pearl operas at the end of the supermarkets, and we tend to go in Raldi more because uh, the uh, vegetables there, particularly, and, and with Biddle, are very, mm -hmm. very good value, aren't they? They are. Um, we're going to go through the ingredients as we make here, uh, just so we can see visually the comparisons, but just uh, as a headline thing, the difference, right, for the budget shop, yeah. for everything you needed, and you'll have loads left over, which we'll come on to at the end. The budget shop was £9.77. Wow, okay. So, some of it is in the fridge. I will say the bag they gave me was so weak, uh, I had to get two of them. I, I nearly like it shattered in the, in the car you park. So double I, bag yeah, I had to. It was so bad. I would nip back in and got another bag. Uh, so I, that's why I've not put it because the bags weren't on the receipt. So I've omitted the bags, but they're normally like three times difference because this is a much better bag. And the shop here came to £27.69. So it what? is literally three times the price. That's I can't believe that. It's crazy. Uh, and as I'll come on to, there are so much more ingredients left over that we've bought. So it's, this is just for the ingredients itself, the recipe. We'll talk about that at the end, but let's get going, right? Let's, let's get the dough on. Let's make some scones. Oh yeah. Scones. Don't you mean scones? 350 grams of self-raising flour. So we've got this uh, standard flour, really nice. Nothing wrong with that. And this is some uh, self-raising flour that's designed more for sponges. So it's extra fine. Um, finely milled for light, perfectly textured bakes. Oh. Do you think that'll make a difference? I do. Kapos, I, I did you know what? I really do not know whether this is gonna make a difference. I really think it's gonna be more the cream and the jam that will make the difference. Oh yeah, and they're just kind of like the accompaniments. Yeah. For the 350 grams, if you want 350 grams of the more gourmet flour, it's 36 pence more. And that doesn't sound much, but it adds up it at the end. And is there much difference? Oh, that well, is much more fine, isn't you it? You can, it feels, yeah. It, yeah, delicate, yeah, is it? Yeah, it is, it's really like light. Why is baking powder always so hard to get into? So in the cheap, you get 170 grams, and we only need a teaspoon, which is six grams. So the equivalent that Mrs. B is just putting in there is two British pence. Um, for the steep, you get 160 grams less in the tub, so you do get 10 grams less, but you're paying a pound. Okay. So it's effectively pretty much 4p for that teaspoon. 2p more just for a different type of baking powder. I mean, that's really minimal, but why? It's probably from the same factory. The cheap butter, £1.75 for 250 grams, uh, which works out we need 59 pence. And then we've got this unpasteurized butter from Normandy Cows, which is actually £3.10 or £1.5p uh, for the amount that we need. Double the price uh, for the butter. So, and it looks identical in color. Just work the fat through until it's sort of like a bread crummy texture. It's definitely a lot lighter, this stuff. It's flying everywhere. Yes, isn't it? Yeah, I've got to be a bit more careful with that because it's so thin, it's going poof. Just thinking, I feel a bit of pressure doing this recipe. Why? Well, Phoebe made, made scones. Oh, she did, yeah. For Jubilee weekend, and they were amazing. Everyone loved them and yeah. we had a party. We did a little uh, so Jubilee I... party and had scones. So that's very British, folks, okay? But if you want to make them even cheekier, oh, no, add a bit of say. cocoa powder. powder chocolate chips in the mix, oh. and then use Nutella instead of jam, chocolate scones. Oh, shiver me timbers. So next we're gonna add in uh, caster sugar. Um, we could have really pushed this and gone for like whole like Demerara and gone down all crazy, but we, as always, we try and make it as 
extreme ends of the spectrum, but the same thing. So this is uh, the standard caster sugar from the supermarket. We only need three tablespoons, uh, which is roughly 40 grams. So that works out at 5p worth of sugar in there, okay? The uh, more expensive one, 40 grams of that is 10p. So it's actually double the price. Oh look, that is slightly, that is actually golden caster yes. sugar. So there is a real color difference. That's almost like a sand, like on a beach. Yeah. Not the beach where we live. I was there. just thinking. <laughs> yeah, that looks like more like the beach where we live. Need some seaweed in there and uh, a washing machine washed up, which is a true story. I was walking Boston oh. when we first moved near the beach here and there was a washing machine. That is the power of the ocean, folks. Mrs. B is trying to get 175 mil of milk there, which for the uh, cheap, uh, works out at 15 pence. It was one pound and five P for that whole uh, holster of milk. Whereas this organic milk, which is actually from a farm quite close to us, um, really popular to be fair, uh, they are three pound for two liters. So you're getting more, uh, but it is uh, double the price again. So it's double the price for your standard milk versus organic. Uh, do you think that's gonna make a difference? No. Does it even taste different? Like when you just drink it. Ah, actually, shall we have the official milk taste test comparison whilst they're baking? Okay. Goodness. Yeah? Smell that one. Oh. oh. Burns your nostrils. Oh, that is luxurious, mate. Yeah. Oh. It is just vanilla extract uh, from a luxury brand, uh, which is seven pounds and five p for sixty mil. What? That it, was seven pounds. Yeah. <gasps> it, eight times the price, but for the amount you've just put in there, fifty eight p. So that is a difference between the two, just for a teaspoon. Uh, this might be one of our craziest ever of fifty one p difference. That's insane. But that has made a slight, can you see them? Yeah, there it's is changed a, the color. Yeah, that is different. Uh, but it's by a brand called Nielsen Massey, which are apparently the world's finest vanilla. So if that's a thing that we just weren't really aware of, then I've seen them in the shops quite a bit, but I've never really been willing to pay uh, seven pound for extract, particularly when you can get it for like 59p. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So next one is lemons, uh, which Mrs. B is rolling out because the budget ones are pretty... Uh... Get more juice out of them this way. Well, you do, but I mean, they're pretty small lemons. Look at the size difference. That is crazy. That's steep, cheap. I didn't really factor that in in my calculation either. Um, the acidity, though, in the lemon juice will help uh, the self-rising rising flour uh, and the baking powder as well with the raising agents as well. That'll, that'll help That's it. Does it? It does. Oh, they smell different. Smell that. Oh, that smells like a lemon. Smell that. That smells like a shoe. So these bags uh, of uh, uh, budget lemons, which are, I would say half the size, right? Mm. Um, four of those uh, for 50p. Whereas these ones, look, they're huge, right? Yeah. Again, a pack of four, but that was £1.70, meaning that each of those is 43p, which is 3.4 times the price, or for one lemon, 31p more. But you are getting like a lot more. Yeah, that, like, you probably need, you need two. two. So merely, it's probably not three and a half times as more. It's probably like you know half of that. It's probably like one point seven ish. But how much do you need? Just like one. We just need a squeeze. Yeah, we literally need a teaspoon. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mrs. B, this is so light. Really delicate. It's like a cloud. Cut in quite easily. Oh yeah. Oh, that's worked out really well. And then you yeah. get. A nice little disc like that. Oh uh, yeah, I do notice a difference from yours. Yeah, that is, yours is good, but there's a, it's, a, it's a, These are like light. Yeah, they are so delicate. We can wrap this in cling film in the fridge, we even freeze it for another day because four will be enough. Cheap, okay, yeah. and the steep there. Nice. They need an egg wash on top, which is traditionally in these videos, one of the most epic comparisons. So we bought a pack of 10 eggs there. Uh, you get 10 and they work out at 13 pence each. Uh, they're not the cheapest I could have got. We went up one, um, they remember those ones before in like a big plastic packaging. The polar opposite are these ones we've seen before uh, where they're three pounds 65. Oh my goodness, are they even from hens? Yes, and they're okay. 60p each which works out for each egg, for your egg wash, 47 pence more. 4.7 times more for that egg. Oh, look at that yolk. Versus this egg. There we go. Mm. We've been there before, folks. It's not new territory. Uh, it is a very 
very different set of colours right there. That is a big difference. It is, isn't it? Just the tops, yeah? Just the tops. Cheap, steep. That is quite a difference. And they only go in for about 10 minutes. Nice. All right, folks, uh, don't worry about this. Patreon will know why, and it's, it's fine. Don't worry. Uh, all you need to know is they're in the oven, uh, and everything's good. Um, as promised, uh, the cheap versus steep milk test. Okay. Uh, this is the steep, this is the cheap. So should we try the cheap milk first? Okay. It looks the same by the way, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. There's no point me getting closer with the camera. It looks like milk. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Organic, semi skimmed milk. A teeny weeny bit creamier. Creamier? Yeah, actually, yeah. Slight creamier. Mm. Not much more. Not much difference. No. Whilst they're in the oven, we have got two more things, which are basically like the, the condiments, if you will, that mm -hmm. accompany the scone, which is traditionally clotted cream. And yeah. Remember, I've done a homemade video on how to do that. You have to bake it in the oven. It's a long, oh, just check the video out. It smells a bit like cheese. And jam. Now, I did not realize there is a crazy jam uh, that I got, and it's still just within the strawberry jam territory. But we'll go for the clotted cream first, okay? So uh, in the cheap, you have got a 200 gram tub there, um, which was £1.49, two tablespoons, which I thought was probably a good serving of the cream, fairly good, um, 22 pence. 22p for this portion of the same 42p, so 1.9 times the difference, or, it's gonna cost you 20 pence more. I think this is not gonna be a big difference. No. We're gonna finish with the biggest cheap versus steep difference I think we've probably ever had. You got 454 grams there. Yep, of just strawberry jam. Yep, that is 31 pence. And it, the equivalent of one portion of that jam for what we need, two tablespoons, is 2p. Oh wow, okay. 2p. 2p. From the luxury supermarket, a smaller jar, 320 grams, strawberry yeah. and pink champagne jam. This has champagne in it. The lady asked if I was over 25 when I was in the supermarket. I just got a check, I was like, I'm 40. This is the crazy thing. It was 2p for two tablespoons of this. Two tablespoons of that, 33p. 16 and a half times more. Ooh. You can smell it, but it doesn't smell no, like champagne. It, it doesn't. It smells like dates. Don't know if I'm gonna like that. Well, they're nearly finished in the oven. We'll let them cool on a tray, build this all together, and we'll jolly well find out. All right. So cheap, cheap steep. steep. That egg didn't make a difference, did it? Not really. Maybe this has got more of a golden. Yes. Well, no, actually, they I don't look, think it has. All of a sudden, they look very, very similar. It's all gonna be about the taste. All right, folks, you might not think it, but this is a cheap and a steep. They look absolutely identical. And this is kind of what I was hoping for with this. Yeah, we'll go jam first, is that right? Yeah, okay. That's what I tend to do, but uh, yeah, I don't want to get into that. There's some very passionate people out there. Clotted cream with the skin on. If you've never had clotted cream ice cream as well, that is amazing. Oh, but they look so different. Look, yours is like, almost like a Black Forest version. Yeah. And that, is a blooming big scone. So we've got a little scone tasting station going we, on. We have, haven't we? Bit of a like experience day. Yeah. Uh, we're going to build up to the scone uh, by first of all having uh, this is all the st uh, cheap stuff. Okay. So a cheap scone. That's pretty good. Hmm. A bit chewy. It is quite st tough. It is. Can't eat it on the same. Cheap jam, which is very, very. I mean, it's sweet. It's more sweet than strawberry flavoured, quite jellified, but it's doing its job as a jam. That's strawberry jam. It is, right? Uh, cheap clotted cream. Cream? Cream. Are you a fan of clotted cream? You just saw it. Not really. <laughs> Not on its own. Uh, yeah, it's quite intense on its own, isn't it? Yeah. But <laughs> well, that is clotted cream. Yeah, steep. Steep scone. Mmm. That's really different. Mmm. Oh my gosh, you it's could got... actually eat that without anything with it. Yeah, that's really delicious. That is not... It tastes like a biscuit. That is totally different to the cheap. It's lighter. It? Yeah, it's not stodgy. No. You don't feel like your teeth are sticking together. It's got a lovely crust on it as well. Oh my goodness. It's still a scone though. It's like a sweet scone. Yeah, and you don't eat scones on their own. No. Do you? So that's why I'm hoping that the, it'll blend in. 
Right, let's right. try this champagne jam. Oh my gosh. Oh, really? That's really strong. Ooh, all that. I mean, it's a surprising kick, but then all of a sudden. Ooh. You can actually taste the alcohol in it. You, you, you can. You definitely can. But after, once that goes, it does settle down to being still a jam that you can get drunk on. I feel like you needed a um, jam in the middle. That does taste a bit different, actually. That cream. Oh, wow. It's richer. It's richer, but also smoother. Yeah. That is nice. And it's not got like a bit of um, like a sour aftertaste. Okay, so I guess Ooh. we're saying uh, this steep cream possibly middle of the range cheaper jam because it's just jam but i i actually preferred that i like that a lot yeah. which is rare for me i normally like the uh, the cheaper stuff right. and the scone on its own is steep by yeah. far at the moment Definitely. so wanted the whole taste journey on there ready okay i'm gonna go half oh yeah just a half's fine isn't it yes oh oh good it's good, that it's, is good. good. it's a little stodgy yeah oh it's a scone it's scone it's that freshly baked softness in it. Mm. And you don't care, you kind of expect that, that little bit of like roughness with it. it does taste good all together. Mm. Steep. Here we go. Gosh, look at it all oozing out. Oh. That's good. That is amazing. Mm. I'm not a fan of the jam though. Really? Mm. I love it. I think that's really nice. It's quite like rich. I think it gives it a funny taste. I think because of the champagne, it takes a little bit of the sweetness edge. The cheap one is just intense sugar. Whereas I feel like that has a richness, like a depth to it. You still get the sweet, but it's like a journey. Definitely the steep scones, they're yeah. so much nicer, but I'm not a fan of the jam. I think it's got to be the, out of the two, I prefer the cheap jam. It is a bit of a shock at first, because it almost tastes savory. Although it doesn't, yeah, it oh. looks, the steep jam looks nicer. Mm. I think I'd settle for, like I said, a jam. In a the middle, middle of the road, yeah. yeah. So did the flour make a difference? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Baking powder, no. Butter, no. Sugar, mm. maybe. The milk, no. The vanilla, you can't really taste the vanilla, can you? The lemon, meh. The egg, we saw that when it came out of the oven, it made hardly any difference. The no. colour was the same. The jam, find one middle of the road. Mm. The cream. I don't think the cream makes a difference. I really don't. And that was the last item on there. So ultimately, we are saying to make amazing scones, and I will write this on the recipe I do, go for more expensive flour, fine grade self-raising. The butter maybe, but things like the vanilla, things like the lemon, things like the milk, didn't matter. No. But that texture, and when you're making it, it was like light as a cloud, yeah. really. It you, worlds apart you can tell the difference you really can but we're saying all this and it's we're both swaying towards the the cheap it's only flour it's the flour yeah which is a difference in that entire shop of 36 pence and the reason i wanted to say right at the end of what this all came to and why that makes a difference is because the price of the entire total shop 27 percent of the entire amount you would have spent on the steep shop would have covered the entire ingredients and the entire shopping list of the uh, cheap. Do you know what I mean? What? Yeah, It's okay. like a quarter of the price would have got you all of that as well and had it all left over to make other things. That is the crazy difference. Wow. Do you know That's what I mean? Insane. It is yeah. absolutely That's insane. ridiculous. And it's, this is probably the most one-sided one we've actually agreed on. Yeah, I think so. They are phenomenal either way. If you were like in a cafe and you had either one of those, it would be mind-blowing. It would be. Right, I am going to type this recipe up now okay. with our final version of it. What are we going for? Steep flour, steep butter. And then all the rest cheap? I reckon all the rest cheap. Yeah. Nice. Thanks so much for watching, folks. I will type that recipe up so you can make, in our opinion, the perfect scones and obviously get the jam you want. So, so good. Do let us know any cheap versus steep uh, video ideas you've got. We very nearly did chocolate muffins today. We did. So I thought that would be quite yeah. a good one. Very, very close. I love the idea of like really not being so similar like this. It's quite a close battle. Yeah, so do check out the place and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And if you are, make sure your notifications are turned on. <laughs> Remember, it's not scone until it's gone. Which was your favourite? Steep. Steep, really? What did you like about the steep? The jam was more like 
gave you that more jammy taste. Did it? Mrs B, I think our daughter has a taste for champagne. Oh gosh. Well thanks Chloe. No problem.